I need to never drink alcohol again, ever, for the rest of my life. A man. A, a man with Asperger's. Aloha, anti-goblin squad. Childhood bedroom here. Before I begin this episode of Threat Assessment, I have to admit that I will not be speaking from experience. However, I still hope you guys will be willing to hear my take on this interesting cultural phenomena. Let us proceed into Threat Assessment, Internet Daddies. They are daddy issues, dude edition. The rising divorce rate in the United States has been discussed for many decades. And as I hinted at earlier, I'm really fortunate to not have direct experience with this issue. But this hasn't stopped me from witnessing its effects on my peers. And the contrast between my own family life and that of my friends has only reinforced the necessity of fathers in my mind. And I've always found it really morbidly fascinating how much the absence of a dad fucks a person up. Haha, ha, my mom keeps going on and on about how gay people are messed up and irregular and gross and shouldn't be able to marry. Like, shut up, you got divorced three times and God knows how many one-night stands you've had. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And it took me quite a few years to really develop an understanding of why this has the kind of effect that it does on someone. And I'm going to get into that more later, but for now, I want to focus on how this issue manifests itself on the internet. I just don't see what the hell's racist about dressing up like a Mexican. <laughs> the internet's lost boys have formed a pretty large audience to market to, and their merchants seem to consist of alcoholic, childless, 40-year-old men who misdirect all of their paternal instincts onto the internet. The kind of conversations that they should be having with their sons around a campfire are being condensed into tweets and podcasts for Zoomer men to mull over. And the advice that's being given by these e-dads is extremely underwhelming to people who actually had their fathers around. I'm not going to watch some fucking leaf tell me about uh, self-actualization like I need a therapist. Oh my god, Jordan Peterson, so enlightened, he told me to make my bed. I'm not going to worship a man who tells you basic lifestyle advice and then act like this is some amazing shit. And as funny as it is to point this out, it still leads you to the realization of how severe this problem is in our culture. Young men are so hungry for that masculine encouragement that even the simplest bits of affirmation can hook them. And the mundaneness of the things that they're hearing doesn't stop them from being emotionally invested and defending their e-dad like an anime hero. Who cares how it sounds? The content of Jordan Peterson seems to be doing some amazing things, and if it's helping people, eventually he might be considered a prolific figure in history. Listen, I'm sorry that your dad was just some dude that fucked your mom in the back of a Prius. I'm sorry that he wasn't around to raise you and teach you how to make your bed and clean your fucking room. I don't see any women lined up to you, and I would definitely be at the end of that line. Well, if you hit the treadmill a little more, you'd be at the front. Humor is one of the few redeeming qualities that makes these father figures slightly more tolerable to me. But this is ultimately a superficial charm. Your e-dad might have the wit to clap back at my criticism, but this doesn't make him fit to fill this kind of void in your life. Your idol has the time to reply to your tweets and call women fat on Twitter because he doesn't have a family to pay attention to. You shouldn't be taking fatherly advice from a man who has no wife and kids to begin with. I, I know the guy doesn't have any real morals. I think he only cares about his money. That's the sort of guy that he is. He's a worldly guy. He's a nihilistic guy. He cares about wine, women, and song, and that's all well and good. Even if you're someone who is self-aware enough to recognize that Dick Masterson is not dad material, and you just want advice about picking up chicks, you're still fucked, because he's a fraud in that department too. Any man who goes out of his way to boast about his sexual escapades is insecure about his masculinity. Seducing a woman who willingly banged Maddox is less than impressive. If this crew were to approach a group of college-aged women, they would end up in a van on a sidewalk in Toronto. You are not your fucking khakis! I do mock this book's nihilism as well as its homosexual overtones, but Fight Club is a window into a generation's struggle with masculinity, and I think its insights are valuable to this video. As written by Chuck Palahniuk. 
What you have to understand is your father was your model for God. If you're a male and you're Christian and you're living in America, your father is your model for God. And if you never knew your father, your father bails out or dies or is never home, what do you believe about God? What you end up doing is you spend your life searching for your father and for God. I don't feel like it's a coincidence that I'm a person with a very strong connection to my father and to God. My relationship with my family is something that I've always been incredibly grateful for. And I suppose that I can't fault people for needing to compensate for this emptiness, especially when I think about how much my dad has enriched my life. My father isn't perfect, but I'm forever grateful that he's been in my life and for all the things he's taught me. But I'd be remiss if I didn't also credit people like Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson, and other online influencers for the wisdom they have shared with me and millions of others. I don't think that it's wrong for you to be appreciative of the wisdom that these father figures have given you, but I do feel the need to warn you that these parasocial relationships are bound to leave you feeling disappointed if you let yourself get over-invested. I think you would be much more rewarded if you were to take the time to get to know the father that's been present in your life, whether you have acknowledged him or not. I'm gonna let 80s girls suck my cock. We know that dick in the bedroom is probably submissive. Clean it up, yeah, yeah.